board will meet for the first time since Governor Hochul paused the controversial tolling plan. Across the city, a number of transit projects have been halted because of the governor's decision, but supporters of the plan plan to rally um, in favor of it. Eyewitness News reporter Lindsay Tuckman live from Lower Manhattan. Lindsay? Shirlene, the MTA board will be voting on a resolution today to acknowledge the pause in congestion pricing, but also to acknowledge that they would be ready to implement congestion pricing if it was unpaused. The big question, though, in the meantime, is what projects will have to be put on the back burner without that cash flow? Congestion pricing was, of course, meant to bring in billions of dollars to the Transit Authority to fund major and minor projects system wide. The board held committee meetings Monday, and many there expressed concerns over the the ability to even keep up with routine maintenance without that cash coming in. So today, MTA Chair and CEO Jano Lieber will lay out the projects that will have to be deprioritized to compensate for the loss. And that will likely include uh, the Second Avenue subway extension. We already knew about that, as well as extend, uh, accessibility projects and even signal modernization. Mayor Adams, meantime, who said the city will crack down on double parked vehicles and other things that slow down traffic while the pause is in effect also acknowledge the MTA's need for revitalization. A lot of that traffic happened because of COVID and because people stopped uh, feeling safe on the subway system. We need to turn that around. That should be the primary uh, commute for New Yorkers. But we're going to do our role. And I have faith in the governor and the team in Albany to uh, do their role up in Albany. So again, that board meeting is happening later today here at MTA headquarters. Also happening today, though, transit advocates will be holding a protest outside of this building to demand the governor unpause congestion pricing. For now, we're live in.